now you see yeah uh, now uh, see what is uh, the more important part here when we talk about you know the questionnaire method there are both advantages and disadvantages but before going to the advantages and disadvantages uh, let us just see okay the forms of questionnaire you need, you know so, uh, students when we talk about questionnaire as a technique okay the questionnaire as a technique has also different forms or the types okay different forms or the types now among the different forms or the types okay the first type let us uh, see is that you know structured questionnaires structured you know there are certain questions which is been structured okay there are certain questions which is been structured and you cannot break that structure so that is called a structured questionnaire okay now uh, for example or for instance you know there are certain questions i will come to that i'll i will give you certain examples so that it will be clear to you okay now again because you see when we talk about social research uh, you know the two names is very important for us we have to refer these names that is the pv young and goody and hat okay but i'm referring here i'm quoting uh, pv young okay now according to pv young or what pv young wants to tell or say about is that you know the structured questioners are those which pose definite concrete and pre ordained questions very important definite okay, the word definite concrete and pre ordained question that is they are uh, you know prepared in advance okay prepared in advance and not constructed on the spot during the questioning period etc okay they are very definite very concrete and they are pre ordained okay pre because you know preparing a questionnaire is not a easy matter okay it's not an easy matter because you see there are so many things has to be considered okay we will come to that there are so many things has to be considered you know depending on the nature of the research what are the objectives of the research who will be your you know um, for example who will be the informant what is the sample because the sample is very important because in social science research when we do empirical study when we talk about you know the primary study because the sample is very much important who is my sample group who is my target group okay who is my target group are my target group illiterate are my target group educated are my target group very hostile group are my target are my target group you know uh, in this way or that way so so many things has to be considered but when we talk about the structured questionnaire that means there are certain questions will be included in that technique where the questions will be structured okay it's not you know very loose type of question is not very uh, you know uh, very uh, lengthy type of question so uh, it's well structured then the next uh, type of question is that you know the closed form questionnaire closed okay now a question will be asked in the questionnaire okay which is closed a respondent cannot uh, go uh, here and there okay a respondent cannot go here and there now for example uh, you know to collect the uh, data on the um, say ethnic group okay or on the religious print your religious background suppose a question is been asked your religious background okay and the option is already been given hindu muslim christian sikh and you only have to tick the respondent only have to tick either the respondent is a hindu or a muslim or a christian or a sikh there is no other option okay <clears throat> so suppose this is called what closed form okay this uh, closed form suppose um it is a uh, question is asked do you smoke yes no if the respondent smokes if he wants to say yes then he will tick in yes if the respondent do not smoke okay and you want to say no that means he will tick in no 
So there is no option. No, sometimes I smoke, sometimes I do not smoke. When I feel this, that, no, there is no chance. Okay, because it is what? Closed. You have to give your response either yes or no. You have to give your response that which religious group you belong. Okay, <clears throat> either Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sikh. So this is a closed form questionnaire. <clears throat> okay, so the third type, okay, the third form of, uh, in the questionnaire is that, you know, open form questionnaire. Now the previous one, what, uh, what I said, <clears throat> excuse me, the previous one, what I said was the closed form questionnaire. And the, now I'm talking about, you know, open form questionnaire. That means the question is open. That means uh, a question has been asked. After that, a space is there. You give your suggestion. You can give your opinion. You can write anything. Okay? You can write anything. Now, for example, a question is asked. Okay? What is your opinion about uh, the internet system? The present internet system. The present social network. Okay, what is your opinion about the present social networking system? So after that, a space, few lines are blank. That means it, what? It is open. Okay, so a, res uh, a respondent can write accord that answer according to his or her own wish and will. Okay, because it is open. It is not fixed. It is not closed. It is not yes and no. Or it is not certain parameters. So it's open. You are free to write anything and everything. Okay? If you want to write, you write. Right? So this is another form. So till now I have said that one. Number one, structured questionnaire. Number two, closed form questionnaire. Number three, open form questionnaire. You know, it is open. Okay? Open form questionnaire. Number four, you see, we can even, or there is even a chance, okay, we use in social research, that is pictorial questionnaires. Okay, the word pictorial comes from the word picture. Okay, now pictorial question, uh, questionnaire. Pictures has been given. Okay, and seeing the picture, the informant had to give the answer. You know, sometimes, you know, when we are collecting questionnaire and all, people are so busy, they have no time to uh, open, to write the answer, lengthy answer, etc. Sometimes it so happened, that what is my sample? What is my sample target? Are they literate? Are they illiterate? Because you see, with the illiterate population, it is not possible to answer the questionnaire. Right? They cannot read and write. But pictures are very helpful. Okay, with the help of the pictures. Suppose you are doing a research, some, uh, someone is doing a research on maternal health. Okay? Maternal health or drug addiction or AIDS. Um, because you know we have red ribbon, AIDS, uh, World AIDS Population Day, etc., etc. There can be many types of research. Okay, so um, another uh, type of questionnaire is that of pictorial. Pictorial means you know where there are pictures. There can be certain type of drawing, certain type of pictures. Okay, certain types of photographs. Okay, in the questionnaire. Okay, but that is also a questionnaire. Right? That is also a questioner. And the fifth type is that, you know, the unstructured question. Okay, the questioner contains a number of questions which are unstructured. Okay, these are unstructured. Sometimes they, they are, you know, uh, not that specific to the, uh, to the topic of the research or they are very loosely constructed. They are not very specific. So they are unstructured. Okay, but that is also included in questionnaire. So in questionnaire, you see what I have said is that, you know, there are five different types of questions can be included by a researcher while framing, while doing, or while making a questionnaire. What are those? I just repeat. They are, number one, I mentioned as structured questionnaire, which is the structured questionnaire means what? They are definite, concrete, and uh, preordained question. Number two is closed form questionnaire. Okay, closed form. A question, questions are very closed, and the respondent have to give answer by saying yes, no, or the option that is given 
in the questioner after each question there will be certain option okay so the questioner have no chance to write or express anything that is the i mean the 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 respondent the third type what i mentioned is that you know open form questioner okay where it is open okay where it is open and the questions are open like your uh, the question can be give your opinion okay what is your suggestion how do you think that this will happen how do you uh, explain this type of concept okay so a question is asked and a space is given where a respondent have his or her own wish and will to explain or to give answer of that question the fourth i mentioned is that of you know the pictorial questioner where the pictures the diagrams the drawings okay it is self explanatory as a question but still we can uh, accept an answer and fifthly what i say is that you know unstructured questioner okay unstructured so they are uh, not structured there is a you know flexibility is the main characteristics of this questioner okay the uh, you know uh, the flexibility okay they can jump from here and there etc now these are the different types of questioners that uh, sorry uh, the different set of questions that includes and questioner now Uh, a researcher depending on the research can use or they are using these types of questions in the questioner it does not mean that you know again i want to make it uh, very clear here that it does not mean that in a questioner all the five set of questions will be there or should be there it depends okay on the researcher like what type of question or what type of information a researcher wants from the field and accordingly the questioner is prepared okay will my questioner have only the unstructured question or will my questioner contain only clo closed form of questions or will my questioner will contain both closed and open form of questions okay closed and open depending on the nature of the objective depending on the nature of the research now you see there are different types of research now there are certain types of research which are very you know uh, which are very sensitive research even in social science right when we talk about a research uh, you know a research a research doing uh, on this maternal health okay research on you know the third uh, gender for example the gays the lesbian the homosexuals okay a research by, uh, on you know uh, aids okay hiv now these are very sensitive issues you know students these are very sensitive issues okay so here to include question okay in the different types of the questioner that will be prepared for this type of research where human uh, you know the humor has to be maintained okay uh, certain uh, positive the negative the pros and cons because nobody will say that somebody is a drug addict or nobody will say that somebody is an hiv positive okay but with the help of snowball and all we have to reach to the respondent okay sometimes you know face to face it is very difficult so it is the questioner is sent to collect the information so it all depends that on the research topic okay on the research topic and the type of questions that will be included in the questioner what type sometimes it so happen all the five types of uh, sets of questions are there in questioner sometimes it can so happen that i use only or you use only one set of uh, questions in the questioner that is a closed that is or it can be an open now as we are running short of time i have to go fast okay so let us just after knowing this much okay uh, now Uh, uh we will just concentrate few points i would like to i thought of sharing with you is that the qualities of a good questioner okay the qualities of a good questioner what are the qualities of a good questioner okay after knowing this much the first and the foremost quality is the language of the question should be concise okay please keep in your mind okay that the language you see the language is very important because language is the vehicle 
Okay, so the language of the question should be concise. Okay, that is in the questioner or the question that I'm setting, the, issue, the question should not be two, three lines. It should be very specific to the point and it should be very easy, accessible. Okay, not a critical language, not, you know, very uh, a language. Oh, we should not use any word which is the vocabularies or the words which is very critical, very difficult to understand. Always the question, the language of the questioner should be very simple. Okay, and very concise, to the point, not very lengthy. Okay, to the point, short question, so that it is easy. Okay, because these days, again, another, uh, you see, point is that people have no time. Everybody is so busy. There's no time for anyone to read such a long question and then hammer his head and brain and find out the answer. Okay, so be specific. The questioner, in the question, the qualities when we see, it is that the language of the question should be concise. Okay, then... Uh, the language should be clear and straightforward. Okay, and long involved sentence should be avoided. Very important. Okay, the language should be clear and straightforward of the question and the lengthy sentences and all, you know, should be avoided. Okay, uh, for example, using certain type of phrase. Okay, so this also should be avoided. Okay, this also should be avoided. Okay, like for example, uh, again, when we see the qualities of a good questioner, for example, the subjective words, you know, uh, such as bad, good, fair, uh, this should also be avoided. Okay, no single, for example, again, no single question should deal with more than one issue. Okay, it is very important in the questioner. What I'm saying is that no single question should deal with more than one issue. You know, sometimes we ask two, three questions uh, in one question. So it should be avoided. Okay, it should be avoided. Okay, because when we ask, because this is a research. Okay, so this is not a question that we are setting for an examination. Okay, two plus three plus three, then it comes to this much. Okay, five plus five, ten. No, two questions. Not like that, because it is a questioner. Okay, we are talking about research. So each question should have one answer. We should not club two, three questions in at one question. Okay, so that has to be taken into care. Okay, then question should be so worked that ego of the respondents is not injured in any way. This is also very important. Okay, questions should be so work that means while preparing a questioner <coughs> okay a researcher have to really uh, you know have to really work on that not just write any question include any question where the ego of the respondent will be hard because you see it is our work it is our work that we're reaching there we're taking their time we're requesting them to give and at the same time with due respect, we should not include any question, okay, which is going to hurt the respondent, okay. So we have to, in that case, uh, what we, uh, what does it mean that we have to really work hard, okay? We have to really find out a beautiful language, a beautiful word, okay, very sober word, very harmonious word for framing the question, keeping in mind that this particular word or question should not heart the respondent and especially when we do certain research on the sensitive topic as i said a few minutes before you know these are very touchy topic these are very sensitive topic okay nobody is going to say that i'm an hiv positive nobody is going to say that i'm a drug addict but these are the problems of the society and these problems has to be solved and who will solve it is the social science okay because we have to create, we have to generate an awareness. So for that, we have to go, we have to undertake a research. And with this research report and all only, the government will make the policies and programs to overcome this type of problem. But the topics are very sensitive. Okay, the topics are very sensitive. So sensitive topic, like when you talk about the social movement, when you talk about an ethnic conflict, 
Okay, when you talk about the border issue between Assam and Meghalaya, you know, these are the sensitive topics. Okay, like ethnic clashes. These are sensitive as like AIDS and other things. So depending on the nature of the topic, the question, the language has to be very precise, concise, uh, you know, simple. And also the question should not hurt the ego of the respondents. Okay, it should not hurt the ego of the respondents. Okay, so these are the few qualities, you know, of the, the questioner when we talk about as a technique. Now, you see, the questioner has got both the advantages and disadvantages. Okay, when we talk about this technique, it has got both the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, now, to mention some of the advantages, you see, I cannot mention all and I cannot go in detail in this session, but to mention one or two main advantages of this questionnaire <coughs> uh, as a technique is that, you know, uh, it is very, uh, the first advantage is that, you know, it saves time. Okay, it saves time for the researcher. Okay, because a researcher doing a study somewhere else, okay, from his or her own place of residence or the field of study somewhere. So it saves time, okay, while mailing the question, after preparing the question, while mailing the question, it goes there, the research, the informant, fill up the questionnaire, send back the questionnaire. So the researcher can sit in his or her own place and then can go through the information that what he or she is looking for work in the research. Okay, now then in this technique in which director or the research worker or the, uh, the research scholar, whatever you can say, okay, we use the different terminology, okay, the academic research we use as a research scholar, then somebody who is doing and sponsored research, they are the research director, okay, whoever, but whoever undertakes the research. Okay, okay, the, uh, the questions and ensures the questioner are so worded that there is no confusion. It is also again important because the questioner that has been sent to a respondent, okay, should be, uh, should be, uh, uh, you know, uh, very clear as I already told in the qualities of the que uh, questioner, should be very clear, very precise and there should not be any confusion. Okay, because why there should not be any confusion? Because when the questioner goes to the informant, okay, uh, because at that time, the researcher is not present. If there is a confusion in the questioner, okay, if an informant cannot understand certain terminology that has been used in the question, certain concept that has been used in the question okay a certain language that is that cannot be understood by the informant then you see it will be a futile exercise okay it will come back blank or some question will not be answered okay that means in that case what happens you see uh, that questioner will not be taken into consideration Okay, that questioner will not be taken into consideration because the questioner has to be answered fully. It's not halfway the, respond, uh, the respondent sends back. Okay, so this is one point. Then another point is that when the informants are spread all over the country, for example, okay, or in different countries of the world or spread in far flung areas, okay, so at that time, questioner is very helpful for collecting data, okay? What I said is that when the informants, that means when the informants are spread all over the country, okay, or into different districts, or into different states, or into a very far area, so at that time, to collect the information for our research, questioner is very, very helpful tool, okay, technique. Then another advantage is that, you see, in research, one serious problem is that of bringing uniformity, okay, in research. And we all agree to that, okay. In research, one serious problem is that 
of bringing uniformity okay the desired information is to be collected by human beings very important and we all we know okay the desired information has to be collected by whom by human beings okay who interpret sentence words etc in their own way and bring different meaning to the same thing try to understand okay <clears throat> try to understand now what i am saying is that the desired information to be collected to be collected by whom to be collected by human being and who is a human being who will interpret sentence words etc in the own way you say i have i will interpret certain words in my own way okay a will interpret certain words in his own way b will interpret certain words in his own way so these are important when we interpret when we ask the question in the questioner okay it has to be a clear meaning that means there should not be any option okay there should not be any uh, you know the other side uh, or the other way round that certain informations are coming certain informations are not coming okay then another uh, um, advantage is that you see in this technique okay in this technique provides or the questioner provides sufficient time to the respondent to think and send his reply because uh, the time matter you know the uh, the the the, the informant has sufficient time suppose a questioner goes to an informant he will receive that uh, questioner he will uh, go through the questions he can think over the questions what answer he will give uh, how to write how to answer etc and then he, uh, he can have his own time and then after replying he can send back so it is said that okay in this technique okay sufficient time is given to the respondent okay one more advantage is that you know the respondents and researcher interaction is reduced so sometimes it so happen you know it so happen if a research topic is very sensitive if a research topic certain questions are there you know where uh, there is uh, difficult in answering at the face to face situation okay now sometimes you know there are certain questions but these questions are really required these answers are really required for us uh, but you know uh, a researcher going to an uh, informant going to an respondent and asking certain type of questions okay feel embarrassed and moreover plus you know when there is a gender issue suppose a male researcher okay asking certain questions okay to a female respondent has also got certain issues you know the embarrassment situation okay hesitate situation so in that case what happen one of the advantage of questioner is that like here what happens you just ask the question and you send okay so you are not in a face to face contact okay when you are not in a face to face contact there is no hesitation okay and so the informant okay can easily write the answer okay so this is also one advantage okay so that interaction okay there are uh, for certain questions certain type of question when it comes to the sensitive part etc so there is no harm in that okay so uh, another uh, advantage we can uh, talk about is that uh, you know uh, for example in social uh, science uh, research since every problem is connected and linked with human being okay therefore it is difficult to obtain repetitive information okay repetitive in once a questioner is been sent okay he or she cannot again uh, say yes no etc because i have sent a questioner to someone and that someone has sent back the questioner that is that is final okay that is final because we have because that is our human tendency you know at times we say yes at times we say no at times we are biased at times we are not that biased so in the questioner matter this is one of the advantage okay so there are different other <coughs> advantages also but not again going to the advantages let me just touch one or two disadvantage of questioner matter uh, technique okay now among the disadvantages you see it is a system under which it can't be said 
as to what shall be the rate of response. It is very true. Okay? In this system, in this technique of data collection, okay, it is said that okay, uh, a researcher can't have a hundred percent assurance. Okay, what does it mean? Suppose I have sent 200 questionnaires to 200 respondents, but I'm not sure that how many questionnaires will come back. Okay, how many will come back? I have sent 200 questionnaires, but at the end, after six months, I have received only 50 questionnaires. Okay, so this is the possibilities are there. But this is one of the disadvantages. Okay, because people are so busy, they are sitting with the questioner, they have no time to answer. Sometimes they think that what is the use of answering all these things, forget it. Okay, they just show the questioner. But as a researcher, I'm looking forward. So I have sent 200 questioners, and after six months, seven months, eight months, after repeated, you know, uh, reminder, after repeated reminder requesting this and that, people are not sending. Okay, because they are free, whether they will send or not. But as a researcher, I am suffering. I cannot proceed with my uh, research because if my sample is 200, that means I need 200 questionnaires. But out of 200, only 40 I have received after six months, eight months. So we can't say. Okay, so this is one of the disadvantage. Okay, then the next, the second point, okay, the disadvantage can be you know, with, uh, with uh, you know, the educated and uneducated population. Because questionnaire, in the questionnaire, the informant has to read the question and has to answer the question. But if my sample group, if my target group is illiterate, they don't know how to read and write, if they're rural based, okay, then in that case, again, okay, it is, one of the disadvantage. Okay, then I cannot use questionnaire as a technique because they cannot read, they cannot write. Then how they will answer my questionnaire? Okay, because in the beginning we have seen that according to P.V. Young, in the schedule method, the researcher goes with the list of questions, explain, interpret, and the researcher feels. Okay, researcher writes. If the respondent is saying, okay, this, 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 and the researcher fill up the thing. But in the questionnaire, what happens? In the questionnaire, it is not possible because the researcher is here. Suppose the researcher is at Golagha and your respondent is at Hyderabad. Okay, so it is not possible that you go to Hyderabad. So that is what you have sent your questionnaire by mail. And it has to come back. But who will explain to that informant there at Hyderabad? It is illiterate. Okay, so this is another disadvantage. Okay. Then, uh, for instance, another part is that, you know, in actual practice, it is seen that in this method of questionnaire, okay, uh, the rate, uh, the response uh, is not that good. Because, uh, you know, if my uh, questionnaire have a list of 100 questions, set of 100 questions, sometimes, some to they don't return only the questionnaire, okay, sometimes out of 100, they will answer only 10, and the 90 will be blank, they will send the question. So you see, again, we are in a trouble. The researcher is again in a trouble because the researcher cannot proceed. Because for one questionnaire, okay, one respondent, one complete questionnaire is required. Half information is giving, half is not giving. Sometimes it so happens, the closed form of question, the set of question, closed form, yes, no. So that those closed form questions, they answer. And the open form which is asked, okay, what is your opinion? Okay, can you express? Okay, what is your suggestion? These are blank, they send. That means it is half done. I cannot proceed as a researcher. Okay, so these are the technical problems that have been involved and these come under the disadvantage. Okay, the disadvantage of questioner, uh, you know, the questioner method. Then, you know, another problem, the disadvantage that is on the question is that one serious disadvantage of this method is that with its help, uh, you know, is that uh, this study, 
okay the deep problem is de uh, in a detailed manner two question uh, we cannot study the deep problem suppose you know the behavioral problem okay because the behavioral part also comes under the social science okay the behavioral problem and all it is not possible okay uh, so suppose somebody is, uh, has undertaken or is going to undertake a uh, behavioral studies etc the qualitative part sometimes it so happen no otherwise with the question of we can do empirical study with the question of these are you know the primary data but depending on okay suppose the behavioral studies and all so in that case you know it can or it is uh, um, a problem then another problem is that you know a uh, structuring of a good question is really a skill and requires considerable good technique and usually what happen okay a researcher always in a hurry want to complete the work so quickly he or she frame the question but structuring a question or keeping all the qualities keeping all the set of question it is an art it is a skill but usually it is seen that uh, these are the points that is not taken into consideration sometimes there are uh, certain questions which is going to hurt the ego of the respondent etc okay then another disadvantage is that respondent has no interest in cooperating okay has got no interest okay they think that what is the use of doing all these things so these are some of the disadvantage but nonetheless you know the questioner is a very famous technique of data collection and uh, questioner are been very popularly uh, mean or popularly used by a different set of researchers and especially when we talk about you know about uh, the subject sociology okay when we go when we talk about the subject sociology the empirical study and all we really we use the help we take the help uh, of a questioner as a technique for a data collection okay so um, this is in short because you see uh, it, it takes time in short uh, can be uh, about one of the technique okay of data collection that is questioner now do you have any queries questions etc uh, if you have you can please ask one or two or if it is clear then i can proceed to the next technique anyone yeah uh the the students okay. if you have yeah. any queries then you can you can ask uh yeah uh, so uh, i think the boys and all was okay it is clear yes yes your voice is uh, yeah yes yeah yeah it's clear no it's not breaking no yeah. no 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 it's clear okay yeah. okay is there anything or uh, shall i just uh, uh, you know shall i just proceed i hope uh, that yes you uh, can yes you can clear? yeah yeah uh, let me just mm -hmm. uh, just say again in a simple way you know the point wise a uh, certain advantage of the questioner okay for example questioner the advantage i am mentioning what i have said this one only i am just repeating then i go to the next technique you know <coughs> excuse me the advantage is a lower cost it can be one of the advantage you know number 2 time saving okay another advantage number accessibility to widespread okay accessibility to widespread uh, respondents as we have already said okay then uh, you know respondents convenience standardized wording no variation uh, etc etc so since there is no question so i am i am proceeding uh, to another technique uh let me see which technique let me talk about okay the another technique of uh, this uh, uh data collection okay let us just talk since we have talked about questioner let us uh, talk about the interview as a technique of data collection okay now as questioner is one of the technique where the different set of questions are required so when we talk about the interview technique interview is also another technique of for data collection in social science research okay now what happens 
is that you see in social research interview technique is becoming or increasingly popular these days okay in this technique the interviewer himself or herself approach the investigator okay puts question to him and himself records the replies etc etc now how do we define okay how do we define interview see interviewing was known to be okay or interviewing was known to the society okay in the ancient part also but today it has become a very popular part and we are using okay these as a technique for data collection right uh, in the again i quote in the words of pv young okay in the words of pv young interviewing is not a simple way to conversation simple way of conversation between two person okay between two person very important you see here pv young what he saying i'm quoting pv young interviewing interviewing is not a simple way to conversation between an between an interrogator and informant okay gesture glance facial expression okay pause often reveal many things okay when we talk about interview because these things you see these things were missing in the questionnaire because in questionnaire there is no question of gesture in a questionnaire there is no question of you know uh, your the body language a facial expression etc but in the interview what happens is that we or the researcher when collects data or information okay have to be very particular like with whom the researcher is taking the interview okay so everything has to be recorded in a proper manner okay in a proper uh, manner now interview has been defined differently by different scholars and authors but we are not going into the different definitions or the uh, what the scientists they have talked about uh, what goodian has have talked about what pv young have talked about but from the various definitions okay from the various definitions what is the common understanding of interview is that okay that um, interview situation is normally a situation in which parties are face to face with each other and there is a social reaction okay from all the definitions given by different scholars authors scientists etc so we can come to a conclusion okay we can come to a conclusion that interview okay interview is a situation okay in which parties okay are parties means two parties one party the researcher or informant or whatever two two people two person two parties okay are face to face with each other and there is social reaction okay social reaction because one will ask a question the other will will give a response in that you know the uh, the, the 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 gesture matters the facial expression matters uh, you know uh, building up a rapport also matters what is there for good understanding a good interaction okay so these are the things that has been uh, that has to be kept into a mind okay interview is that a system okay in which both the investigator as well as the informant discuss the problem under research very important so what is interview interview when we talk interview in a social research as a technique for data collection so interview is that a system okay in which both the investigator as well as the informant investigator as well as the informant discuss the problem under research okay discuss the problem under research okay and how they discuss the problem under research again face to face okay direct interaction a question has been asked the uh, by one person the answer has been given by another person okay so in that way the interview goes on okay uh, so the <coughs> excuse me so interview is one of the again that is what interview is also one of the important
part of social uh, important part of technique of okay, for data collection now interview aims at collecting information about qualitative facts this is very important when we talk about interview as okay as a technique for data collection okay it aims interview aims at collecting information about qualitative facts qualitative data okay qualitative we are not talking about the quantitative part quantitative means many and qualitative means with it will go from one person to other that means i go to take interview to get a qualitative data because it is one to one okay there is a face to face uh, relationship face to face interaction body gesture facial expression everything matters okay so it is said that interview at collecting information about qualitative facts okay in this attitudes ideas feelings views behavior very much count very important you have to keep in your mind that in interview okay the attitude ideas feelings views behavior very much count okay such social facts and ideals relate both to the individual as well as to the society okay that therefore interview aims at collecting such qualitative data but such a data can hardly be collected with the help of any other method okay so this is a very important point you have to keep in your mind that interview aims at collecting such qualitative data okay i stress again qualitative data but such a data can hardly be collected with the help of any other method okay it is it is not possible to collect with the help of interview sorry with the help of questionnaire the first technique that what we have discussed okay so it is not possible with questionnaire but it is possible with interview as a technique okay so interview also aims at verification of new ideas which the interviewer might have been entertaining about certain uh, you know about a certain a person okay so interview also aims at verification of new ideas okay verification of new ideas there are different types of new ideas that comes and floats on the society but you have to verify how that is what you see every now and then in the tv you see in the radio in anywhere and everywhere in the office everywhere we go for an interview an interview plays a very important role because in the interview there is a direct face to face interaction okay facial expression body gesture even the dress code is also counted in interview even uh, you know from top to bottom is been judged right from your hairstyle to the shoe okay because as the days are going ahead the society is becoming so competitive so it is becoming very important okay that the interaction right uh, so interview also aims at verification of new ideas which the interviewer might have been entertaining okay uh, about certain person that another aim of interview is to collect additional information or views of different persons about different problems in different situation very important okay what is the another aim of interview okay is to collect additional information or view of different persons about different problems in different situation okay interview technique also aims at providing an opportunity to observe things from very close quarter okay observe things from very close quarter so these are some of the you know important points or the aims of interview but interview is also one of the important uh, you know technique for collecting data in social science now as in questionnaire we saw that there are different types of or set of questions even in interview also we have types of interview what are the different types of interview for example okay now 
interview when we say different types the first one i can mention to you is that you know non direct interview then we have direct interview interviewing the people okay sometimes we interview with uh, you know with the help of telephone even you know uh, with the telephone interview is also been undertaken then there are structured and unstructured interview okay structured and unstructured interview standardized versus unstandardized interview individual versus group interview now these are some of the type then self administered versus other administered interview okay unique versus panel interview soft versus hard interview personal versus non personal interview then other uh, type for example we have focused interview telephonic interview okay so a uh, list of interviews is not that you know we have only uh, one type when we say interview means interview now interview what are the different types of interview even we have different types of interview okay now there are certain interviews which are unstructured there are certain interviews which are structured now what is unstructured that means you don't have any set of questions you just go to the field and randomly you keep on asking a researcher keep on asking a question what is this how do you think etc so interview is going on now there is no structure there is no parameter that after this question i will ask this question after this i will ask this no it is not structured structured means what when there is an a proper sequence okay when there is a proper sequence so we follow the proper sequence and we keep on asking but here what happens in the unstructured what happens there is no proper sequence okay there is no proper sequence but yes depending on the nature depending on the topic of my research a researcher takes an interview but it is unstructured whereas in the structured interview what happens it is already pre planned that what are the questions i'm going to ask to my respondent okay it is already been a set of questions is already been prepared the interview schedule is already been prepared by the researcher and the researcher he or she knows that these are the set of questions that i'll be i'll be asking at the time of interview to my informant okay so this is structured an unstructured interview okay then for example another type individual versus group interview now you know i think it's clear what is individual one to one okay the interview will take place then there are again versus group interview sometimes it so happens that to collect data okay to collect primary data even a group interview is also been taken depending on the nature of the study the type of the study the uh, the sample group the target group what type of group so individual and uh, group interview right then again self administered versus other administered interview okay suppose i am a researcher okay i have taken up a research so self administered that means i myself i take the interview the researcher himself take the interview Now sometimes what so happen? You see, sometimes it so happen that other administers interview. Okay, suppose a research has been taken. Now here, uh, for example, let me just uh, give this example only. A research has been taken by your sir, the Dr. Tapan Sarkia. Okay, he has taken a project. He got a project. He is working on the project, and then he has taken two research assistants. Okay, and then. he explained his to his research assistant these are the topics these are the questions he framed the questions and then the research assistant goes to the field for taking the interview okay now this is what this is you know it is it is just an example of other administered interview okay then for example we have soft and hot interview now there are certain interviews which are soft very light okay we take it in a very simple way in a very gentle way okay they are very soft okay the questions are not that hard it is very simple and then 
we take the interview. But there are certain interviews which are very hard. You know, the questions are very critical. Okay, where a critical question has been asked and critically the respondent have to give the answer, keeping in mind all the possibilities, the side effects, these, that, everything. So these are hard. Okay, the soft and the hard. Okay, then other interviews, for example, there are certain interviews which are focused. Okay, only the focus. Okay, we'll be asking only to the point. Okay, we'll not ask any other question. The researcher will not ask any other question, but it has to be very focused. <laughs> okay, for example, the focused group uh, interview. Okay, which are who, 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 for example, who, who are the focus group interview? Okay, when we, when we do a general research, when we do a general study, like uh, ex uh, example, when we do a study about the family, marriage or travel community or rural community, urban community, health problem. Now you see that can be taken as, uh, for example, in a general form. But when we talk about, you see, I have been talking about the ethnic clashes, okay, extremist problem, okay, and uh, then, you know, uh, AIDS problem, HIV problem. Now these are what happened, you know, there we have to find out the focus group. Okay, the focus group, the main person involved in that particular activity, in that particular work, and we have to go and take an interview from them. And taking interview from them is not an easy matter of joke. Okay, it's a very, very crucial part. Okay, so, but to conduct the research, to get the right answer, what is happening, what will happen, what is the future, what is the past, etc. So we need that group, the focus group. Okay, then another type can be, you know, a telephonic interview. The interview has been taken over the telephone. Right? That is also possible. That is also used in social science research. Okay? Through telephone. What is your name? Which religion do you belong? What is your age? And what is the research uh, activity? What are my research? What are the other questions that I want to ask? Okay? The respond you are asking. Uh, the researcher is asking and the respondent is answering. Okay, so these are the, among other uh, parts, then these days, you know, even we talk about, you know, the computer interview, okay, through internet, okay, uh, through chatting, the interview is taken place, okay, because in the age of computer, through chatting, okay, the computer can include event, uh, these days, even can be uh, used, um, WhatsApp, for, collect, for taking an interview. Okay, you, you type a question, then the respondent give an answer. Again, you type a question, the respondent give an answer. Okay, so computer is also there. Now, after knowing all this um, part about the type, you see, there are certain conditions for a successful interview. Okay, among the certain conditions is that, you know, number one, I can always say that it is accessibility. Okay, accessibility. To whom I want to take interview, whether he is access accessible or not, whether he's available or not. Because people are not always available. Nobody will say that I have plenty of time. Okay, you please come and ask me what you, what you want to want. Because time is very precious. And at the same time, when it comes to the research, academic activity and all people, you know, they try to avoid, they don't want to get involved. What will happen to us? Are we getting certain advantage? If I give your answer, then what benefit I will get? Do I get anything in return? So these are the questions, you know, these are the part and parcel that comes, okay, for a researcher, okay, the pros and cons in the field, the hurdles. But it is said that for a successful interview, the person, the respondent has to be, or the availability of the respondent. Then, secondly, you know, the understanding, okay? Sometimes we ask certain questions in the interview, the respondent, he or she doesn't know anything about that and all vague and unrelated answers that come. So that is of no use. So for making an interview a successful, you know, a better understanding is very much important. Then thirdly, okay, that is motivation. Okay, we have to motivate the interviewer. Okay, the motivation is very, very important. Okay. So uh, these are uh, the few qualities, you know, these are the few qualities we can talk about uh, or we can say when it comes to the process 
of uh, interview. Then interview as a method even have got certain, uh, you know, certain advantages and disadvantages. E uh, interview as in technique has got certain uh, advantages and disadvantages. Now uh, to talk about certain, uh, I, I hope that uh, I have covered, okay. Now before I go to the advantage and certain uh, disadvantage, okay, uh, I just want to mention here, uh, there are uh, some other types of interview, I just slipped, uh, it's just slipped off my mind, okay, but now I just recollect it, there are certain uh, other types of interview that is, or that is called, you know, diagnostic interview, okay, diagnostic, okay, now what happened in the diagnostic, in this type of interview, it presumes that there is a malady and interviewer is interested in knowing the cause of that malady. Okay, that means diagnostic. That means we have to go deep. Diagnosing. Okay, now when we fall sick, we go to the doctor and doctor diagnose us. Okay, why my stomach is paining? Why I am having a stomach ache? Okay, so the doctor diagnose. So also for it in social science, okay, in research when we take, there are certain issues, there are certain problems, okay, which needs a proper diagnosis. Okay, so <laughs> proper diagnosis is possible because we don't have laboratory. We cannot have, you know, all the labs and laboratories because our laboratory is the society. It's the social science laboratory is the society. And our tool, our uh, instruments are the human beings, the people, the persons. So we have to get the answer from them. Okay, so the diagnostic interview. Then, you know, Another type that is we have that is a research interview. <coughs> okay, now what happens in this technique also? The interview is focused. <coughs> excuse me. The interview is focused only for that particular research work. Only okay, only for that particular research work. So that is called again another type that is an you know, the research interview. So in this way, we have different types than, you know, the qualitative and quantitative interview. Again, we can talk about qualitative and quantitative. Okay, there are certain interview which is qualitative. Okay, now taking an interview from a minister, for example, okay, for your project work, for your research work, okay, now you are, you are, you are working on the field of education. So, you can get the interview or you can take the interview from the education minister. Okay, now reaching to the minister is not that easy. Okay, you have to get an appointment, you have to wait for two months and he gives only 15 minutes time or 10 minutes time because ministers are so busy. So within that 10 minutes, you have to extract how much you can. Now that is then qualitative. Okay, but you are reaching, you are taking say 500 interviews from your sample on the same topic. Now that is, you know, the quantitative. The number we are counting, okay, 100, 200, 300. But getting an interview from an education minister or the chief minister on the development aspect of the state, suppose you are working a research, you are working on a research on the development, okay, of the state, of a country, of a project, or of a village, or of certain scheme. Okay, now we can say that as in, this is just an example, as in qualitative and quantitative. Okay, then direct, indirect interview. I have already talked about group interview. Okay, and then formal, informal interviews are also there. Okay, formal and informal. There are certain interviews which are formal. There are certain interviews which are informal. Just informally interview is been taken. Okay, then uh, let us, uh, after talking this, I have also talked about, you know, for a successful interview. Okay, what are the qualities that is required for a successful interview? Now, let me just mention one or two points on the advantages of interview as a technique for data collection. Okay, now under the advantages, the first advantage I can mention here is that, you know, interview has collecting information from the incapable respondent. Suppose, for example, a respondent who is illiterate, he cannot, he or she 
do not know how to read and write. So this is one of the important technique because it has been taken verbally. Okay, a question has been asked and the answer has been received. Okay, then another advantage is that high response participation in interview. Okay, now you ask somebody to write two page answer and you say that okay, you just answer, you just uh, give me answer within five minutes. I will ask you some question. You please tell yes or no. Finish. So you will see that you will get more participation in the interview than from the writing part. For example, uh, you know, filling up the question or where there are 200 or 100 questions, okay, where the respondent has to see it and bang his head, okay, to find out the answer to say. So it's easy to just say five minutes, whatever you want to ask, you ask, let me tell the answer, let me go. So we get high participation in interview. Okay, then uh, in the interview method, uh, sorry, in the interview technique, it is possible to go to the deep, okay, because the informant is in front of me. If the informant says something, then if I am eager to know, then I can go deep to that. I can go on asking questions. Okay, okay. If he says that, yes, I know this thing. Then how, from where you came to know? Then he'll say, okay, I, I came to know from my friend. So who is your friend? Okay, he'll say, then he'll say, my friend stays in another village. Okay, then how, from how long you are uh, friend with that person? You see, I'm going, I'm taking the question further to go to the deep, okay, to the root cause. Okay, so in the interview method, it is possible to go to the deep. Okay, then in the interview method, another disadvantage is that flexibility is possible. Okay, flexibility. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, the interview, uh, when the interview takes place, uh, they might be not uh, ready, then they might take some time, or they might again say, for example, okay, not today, tomorrow. So in that way, flexibility is there, and it is one of the advantages. Okay, now, even uh, another advantage is that emotions and fears can be appreciated. Now, in the interview method, the emotion and fears, because you see, every person is not the same. There are persons who are with emotion, there are persons who feel fear to give answer. So, in the interview, these things are taken into account. That uh, if, uh, while giving the interview, where, was the person very confident or was the person in a dilemma or was the person very emotional or was the person very uh, in a fair mood, whatever. So all these things are taken into account. That is possible in interview. Okay. Then another advantage is that possible to study unknown events also. In the interview, what happens, you know, in the discussion, many unknown things also comes out. Okay, when we keep on talking many things, you know, one after the other in the proper discussion, many unknown things comes out, which is important, which is good, okay, for the research study also. Right? Among the, these are, these are some of the advantage. Among the disadvantage uh, is that, you know, it is a costly technique. Okay, interview is a costly technique. Why? Because you have to arrange everything. You have to go to the field. You have to stay there. One after the other, you have to uh, take the interview. People are not free today, not today, tomorrow, not tomorrow, day after, not morning, evening, not evening, at night. So these are some of the things that comes into uh, part. Okay, too much uh, resilience on memory. Another disadvantage is that too much resilience on uh, reliance, I'm sorry, uh, reliance on memory because the memory power has to be uh, taken into account because it is too much because how much you can you will remember sometimes uh, in the interview sometimes we even after taking the interview we miss certain points because one person will talk fluently with one question he gives so many information sometimes we keep the record sometimes we cannot keep the record okay then uh, Another disadvantage is that, you know, uh, possibility of changing meaning, okay? Because uh, when you ask something, because I will explain one thing, uh, I will explain certain things in my way. Another person will explain certain things in his way. Another person will do in their way, okay? So if that's what happens, sometimes, you know, we, we lost the track. So 
it, it so happened that is it is said that possibility of changing meaning then another disadvantage is that you know validity measurement problem okay validity measurement problem because you see when we talk we talk in a different manner so that measurement or sometimes to measure the thing becomes problem very good good etc okay but when we take a questionnaire as a technique when it is an closed form so it is direct okay so we can count for example i have got 200 questionnaire back out of 200 they uh, say uh, 30 respondents are hindus okay 40 respondents are muslim 10 respondents are christians okay so we have the exact number so we take out the percentage okay and then it is easy for us to analyze but here what happened in the interview since it is subjective the people say like what parameter suppose he he for one question the uh, the uh, the response he he, he gives in say 10 sentences so i have to you know synchronize all those 10 sentences and, and i have to bring a particular word so in that in that what happens you see validity measurement problem is there okay validity measurement problem is there then uh, two different uh, another disadvantage is that two different worlds of this person okay the interviewer and the informant okay they are two different worlds he has a particular motive and why the other person will answer so here comes another uh, problem too okay then another problem or disadvantage is that you know subjective nature of unstructured interview subjective okay they are not objective subjective nature of unstructured when the interview is unstructured then many things come in which are not required which are unnecessary okay so subjective some personal parts come which is not going to help my research but the person uh, might the informant might get hurt his ego might get hurt okay but in due course of discussion these things are coming out okay so these are some of the uh, you know then another the last problem uh, advantage let me mention here because there are many advantages uh, that is not possible now to go through all but another the last disadvantage of the interview is that you know the problem of trained interview okay interview is also an art the researcher will go for inter to, to who will go to take an interview is untrained sometimes okay so how to extract the answer from the respondent that is also an art and sometimes it so happens that you know the researcher is over smart the research is overconfident and then he um, uh, what happens at the time of interview the situation uh, the problem comes in and in due course of time sometimes it even goes into the quarreling situation okay into the quarreling situation because we have to respect the respondent because we are taking their time so here comes the question of trained and untrained if the inter uh, if the researcher is trained or the trained interviewer then there is no problem but usually what we say or what we see is that you know one of the disadvantage in the interview technique is that they are untrained okay so they lack the qualities how to extract the answer from the respondent so in a very hurried manner in a nutshell i have discussed uh, certain points this is not actually a discussion just certain things that i could share in this group okay with the students on the technique that uh, questionnaire as a technique and uh, interview as the technique for data collection so i think uh, we are running over time okay the time has already been uh, completed at eight and you people might be very tired and exhausted listening to me one and a half hour but uh, anyway if there's any question any doubt any clarification you can ask uh, or else uh, sir uh, tapan dr tapan is over to you Yes, thank you very much. And students, yeah. uh, please, if, if you have any query or if you have any questions, uh, then yeah, you can ask to our resource person. Hmm. Yeah, students, is it clear to you all? Because you see, I went very fast. 
uh, it's a very lengthy topic and uh, uh, to talk one technique uh, it takes at least in a proper way it takes at least one or two days to go into detail but yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, to go into a detailed part but anyway mm -hmm. so i thought uh, since i got a request and i thought that i'm very fortunate so hurriedly i have done so i hope that uh, it's clear to you and if you have any doubt queries and all uh, you can ask me or you can tell your sir later and your sir later can uh, convey me the query mm -hmm. what do you say sir Hello. Yes, students. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Students, please, I, I, please. If you have any questions, please ask to him. Uh, yeah. Is there anyone? I think uh, no one uh, wants to ask. Uh, okay. 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 Yes, no, no problem. No one, one, uh, yes. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, uh, we want to conclude our class here. Uh, before concluding yeah. our class, uh, I uh, once again thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Swarajit Sengupta. And uh, I know you are very busy and you are very tired uh, today. Uh, <laughs> oh, after attending uh -huh. your duty or after attending your classes in your college. And uh, uh, even though you have taken uh, this cl uh, class uh, very nicely and very inclusively, uh, so in the here, I want second want to uh, thank you uh, from our department or from our college. Uh, in yeah. this session, uh, you have uh, talked about questionnaire interview. Basically, two techniques you have covered in, uh, in this session. Yeah. Uh, and oh. uh, in your class, you have uh, included all the aspect of these uh, two techniques. And uh, mm. I am sure uh, that the students uh, could learn a lot about these two techniques from your lecture mm. or from it okay anyways uh, i would uh, like to uh, take this opportunity to offer our uh, sincere thanks and regards for your useful class and uh, i hope uh, we will be able to find you again in this kind of programs in future also yeah and uh, thank uh, you so much and uh, even i think i'm very fortunate to get an invitation from you uh, yes, though it is a yes. virtual mode, but at least I've been associated now uh, with this HPB Girls College, Golaghat. Uh, yes, so yes. once again, thank you so much. And I really enjoyed, but uh, you know, uh, Dr. Saikya, because of the time constraint, yes. you know, we cannot, sometimes we cannot go into the detail, just touch and go. So let's uh, hope yes. in near future, if this type of arrangement is done again, so I'll be yes. very happy to get associated. So. Okay. Once again, thank you so much to you, to all the students this evening, okay? And my regards to even convey my regards to the principal, sir, Dr. Bipul Chandra Bhuyan, and all the department uh, faculties. And uh, thank you once again, and wish you all a very happy new year and prosperous new year that we are approaching. Thank you, and uh, okay. same to you, and uh, thank you very much once again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you yes, so much. Yes. So, can we uh, leave now? Yes, yes. We can. Uh, yeah. We can conclude. I can, here uh, and, yeah. Okay then. Yes. Good night, okay. everyone. Good Stay night. well. Okay. And take care. Yes. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Good night. Yeah.